What is going on guys, Sterling here, and today we're gonna to take a look at adding a login and logout dynamic link to your menu. So this is actually uh, really easy to do, and we'll run through the plugin that we're gonna add. You can do this via a function, and you can do it programmatically, but we're gonna use a plugin that's really small. It should not add uh, too much to your site at all. So let's go to add new for our plugins. Then we are going to uh, search login or logout menu item. Now the one that I would suggest using is the one that's 20,000 plus active installations. It has five stars. Let's install this. And one of the reasons I like this one is because we can actually customize what our login and logout links are if we want. So that's kind of neat. Uh, but we'll just install this plugin and activate it. Now adding this to the actual site once you have the plugin installed and activated is very simple, but let's go look at the settings real quick. So we'll come to settings and now you'll see a tab called login or logout. And if we click into this, basically we just have three different things that we can update. We can choose our login page URL. So if you had a custom members login page, you could actually link that right here, which is kind of nice. Or if we wanted to use the my account page by default, we could do that here. Uh, our logout, which I think I will do. So we'll just do the my dash account. And then that's gonna become our login page, our login redirect URL. So once they log in, where are they gonna go? Well, let's have it be, uh, they can just be taken to the shop page. And then our logout URL, we can actually redirect them once they've logged out. So let's save these settings now that we have these tweaked. And then we're gonna to go to appearance and then menus. And if we open up our menus, you'll see that we have our default menu. And if we come down here, you'll see that there is uh, where we can add our pages, our posts, custom links, but we also have this login, logout uh, selection. So we can select login, logout, or we can select both where it's dynamic. So if somebody's logged in, it's gonna show them the logout link. If somebody's logged out, it's gonna show them the login link. So let's just add this guy and we'll add it and we'll just have it be uh, on the very end of our menu. So let's save this and take a look on the front. So here I am on the front end and now you can see that I have a logout link because I am logged in as admin on this website, so I could click this and it would log me right out. Um, let me open up a private browser real quick and we'll take a look at that. So I just opened up a private a private browser, guys, so you could see this, and here we see login. So I'm gonna click login, and that's gonna take me to the My Account page because that's the page that I defined in those settings. So I could put in my credentials, login, and then I would dynamically be shown a logout link. So one more thing I wanted to cover guys is we can always update our screen options. If we come down here, we can see that we can add link target, title attributes, CSS classes, which is kind of nice. So if we did want to add like a button class to this, now it all depends on how your menu is going to work. We could add a button class. Now that does not really work with my theme because we need to highlight the button a href if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do a really super quick uh, demo on how you would find that login logout element and add some style to it. So let's do that real quick. So here we are on the front end. I'm just gonna right click and inspect. And we have our li, which is this entire tall uh, blue section that's highlighted there. And then if we go down, that's our ahref. So we really want to find this menu item and then we wanna highlight the ahref. So let's copy this ID from our list item and then we will use the selector A for our href within our link. So uh, it sounds confusing, but let's head over to our style and we will add that in. So to get to our style, we're just gonna come to appearance, customizer, and then we're gonna go down to additional CSS. We're gonna add our ID, so we'll just use a pound sign and then that, and then we'll say A, oops, without caps. And now we can add our custom style in here. So guys, I just went ahead and added a background color of black. I changed my padding because in my theme, my default padding uh, is full width. So I just changed my padding to 10 pixels and we could even do something a little bit different for top and bottom. Let's do five pixels for my top and bottom and then we could do 10, let's do eight, and then we could do 15 even for our, for our logout. And that just gives us a nice little button here. We can see we have uh, some color and then even if we wanted to add a hover all we would do is just copy and duplicate this and then we'll add colon hover and we could change this background color to whatever we want. We could just say uh, 333 and then it's going to turn to a dark gray. So as they hover it, it just changes the color slightly. So let's publish our changes and then we'll come back to the front end and refresh. And now you can see there is our logout button. Here we are guys on that private window again. So you can say I have a login button. If I click on that, it's gonna take me right to my 
login page that I specified in my settings. And that's about all there is to it, guys. Really easy to add a dynamic login and logout button right to your menu. I want to thank you guys so much for watching once again. If you have any questions, be sure to put those in the comments below or any video requests, and we can get those in the queue. Please subscribe and thumbs up. really helps us out. Um, and then if you have any questions about any of the plugins that we make, I'll have all the links to our plugins down in the description below. We have a suite of plugins that work with WooCommerce to help you make more money and help to improve your WooCommerce conversions. So if that sounds good, go and check those out. And I want to thank you once again. My name is Sterling with Handsome WP, and I will see you in the next video.